The elk or wapiti is the second largest species within the deer family. They are large mammals belonging to the deer family, cervidae. They are native to North America and Eastern Asia. Elk inhabit a variety of ecosystems, including forests, grasslands, and alpine regions. They are adaptable animals that can thrive in different environments. The coat of an elk is generally a reddish-brown or tan color, often with a darker mane along the neck. They may have a pale yellowish or cream-colored rump patch, which is a notable feature when observing them. One of the most distinctive features of male elk is their antlers. Bulls grow antlers each year and shed them in the winter. The antlers are large and have a branching structure. The size and complexity of antlers can vary among individuals and are often used as a display of dominance during the mating season. Elk have a robust and stocky build. Their bodies are well adapted for traversing various terrains, including forests, grasslands, and alpine regions. They have long, slender legs that contribute to their agility and ability to navigate different types of terrain. Adult male elk, or bulls, can weigh between 320 to 500 kilograms or even more. Bulls typically stand around 41.4 to 1.5 meters tall at the shoulder. Adult female elk, or cows, generally weigh between 230 to 270 kilograms. Cows are slightly smaller than bulls, standing around 1.2 to 1.4 meters tall at the shoulder. Male elk use their antlers for display and to establish dominance. They may engage in parallel walks, where two bulls walk alongside each other, showcasing their antlers and size to intimidate rivals. They are herbivores and spend a significant amount of time foraging for food. Their diet includes grasses, forbs, shrubs, and other vegetation. They use their specialized teeth to efficiently graze and browse. Some elk populations exhibit seasonal migrations, moving between higher elevations in the summer and lower elevations in the winter. This migration is often influenced by the availability of food resources. Elk often rest or bed down in areas that provide cover and safety, especially during the day. They may use their keen senses of hearing and smell to detect potential threats. The bugle is the most iconic and distinctive sound associated with elk. It is a high-pitched, piercing call that bulls use during the rut to announce their presence, establish dominance, and attract females. The bugle is often described as a series of whistles, grunts, and high-pitched notes. This is a softer, bird-like chirping or chuckling sound that elk make, especially when they are content or communicating with each other in a calm situation. It is a less intense vocalization compared to the bugle. Elk may emit short, guttural grunts, which can serve various purposes, including communication within the herd, expressing contentment, or as a sign of aggression during confrontations. A mew is a soft, nasal sound made by female elk. It is often used by cows to communicate with their calves or with other members of the herd. Calves may also use mewing sounds to communicate with their mothers. The wheeze is a sound often associated with aggressive behavior in elk. It is a harsh, raspy noise that bulls may produce during confrontations or as a display of dominance. While not a vocalization, the sound of two bull elk clashing antlers during a physical confrontation is a significant part of elk behavior during the rut. The rattling of antlers can be intense and is part of the visual and auditory display during mating season. Elk are known to graze on a variety of grass species. Grass makes up a significant portion of their diet, especially during the warmer months when grasses are abundant. Forbs are broad-leaved herbaceous plants, excluding grasses, and they contribute to the diversity of an elk's diet. Elk may consume forbs such as wildflowers, sedges, and other non-grassy plants. Elk browse on shrubs and woody vegetation. They may feed on the leaves, twigs, and buds of shrubs, particularly during the winter months when grasses are less available. 
In addition to shrubs, elk may consume the bark and twigs of certain woody plants. This behavior is more common in winter when snow cover makes grasses and forbs less accessible. While elk are not typically considered browsers of trees, in certain situations, especially during winter when other food sources are scarce, they may consume the buds and branches of small trees. In some habitats, elk may also feed on aquatic plants found in lakes, rivers, and wetlands. Elk adjust their diet based on the availability of food throughout the seasons. During the growing season, they may focus on fresh grasses and forbs. In winter, when these resources are limited, they may resort to browsing on shrubs and woody vegetation. Elk, like many other herbivores, may visit mineral licks to supplement their diet with essential minerals. These licks provide access to minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, and sodium. The lifespan of an elk varies depending on factors such as environmental conditions, habitat quality, and predation. In the wild, elk typically have a lifespan of around 10 to 20 years. Elk are prey animals, and predation by natural predators such as wolves, bears, and mountain lions can significantly impact their lifespan. In areas with a high predator presence, elk may have shorter lifespans. Human activities, including hunting and interactions with roads and urban areas, can affect elk populations. In areas with regulated hunting, management practices can impact the age structure of elk populations. Elk may face accidental deaths due to factors such as collisions with vehicles, falls, or other accidents. Extreme weather events, such as severe winters with deep snow, can impact elk survival, especially when access to forage becomes limited. The elk rut typically occurs in the fall, usually from late August to early October, depending on the geographic location and local climate. This period is influenced by the decreasing daylight hours, which triggers hormonal changes in both males and females. As daylight decreases, the pituitary gland in elk begins to release hormones that stimulate the reproductive system. Testosterone levels in males rise, leading to changes in behavior and physical characteristics. One of the most iconic behaviors associated with the elk rut is bugling. Male elk use bugling, a distinctive and loud vocalization, to announce their presence, establish dominance, and attract females. Bugling serves as a means of communication with other males and signals to females that a bull is ready to mate. Male elk engage in various behaviors to establish dominance and compete for mating opportunities. This includes antler displays, parallel walks, and physical confrontations with other males. The size and complexity of antlers are often used as indicators of a bull's fitness and dominance. Dominant bulls may gather a group of females, known as a harem, during the rut. The harem is a group of cows in estrus that the bull defends from other males. The bull's goal is to mate with as many cows as possible during this period. Female elk come into estrus for a brief period during the rut, signaling that they are receptive to mating. Bulls actively seek out cows in estrus and compete for the opportunity to mate with them. After successful mating, the gestation period for elk is around 240 to 260 days. Calves are typically born in late spring or early summer when vegetation is abundant, providing optimal conditions for the newborns. After the rut, males may experience physical exhaustion and may lose weight due to the energy expended during the intense mating activities. Elk return to more typical herd dynamics, with bulls rejoining female herds and the focus shifting to foraging and replenishing energy reserves. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.